The Brambles is a solo card game where you are trying to defeat 20 Bramble Evil cards by playing special combinations of cards from a tarot-like deck known as the Collection. If all 20 Bramble Evils are defeated before the Collection deck runs out, you win. To set up the game, shuffle the Bramble Evil cards and lay out six Bramble Evils around the Hex deck face up. This is the Bramble layout. Shuffle the Collection cards and place them in a deck near you. You will always have six cards in your hand, and on your turn the main objective is to play a three-card combination to defeat one of the Bramble Evil cards that are face-up in the Bramble layout. To play a combination, move all three cards into a discard pile, then move the defeated Bramble Evil card to a defeat pile, then redraw a new Bramble Evil card to the layout face-up, and finally redraw your hand back to six cards. The Bramble Evil cards are ranked 1 through 5, with the higher ranks requiring stronger combinations of cards to defeat them. Each combination can defeat a certain rank of Bramble Evil card or a card of lower rank. For example, if a combination can defeat a rank 3 Bramble card, it can also defeat a rank 2 or a rank 1 Bramble card. The different combinations and the ranks they defeat are described in the instruction booklet and on an included reference card. The cards of the collection are numbered 1 through 14 in 5 suits. Those numbered above 10 are the honor cards, which have increased strength in combinations. If all cards in a combination played are honor cards, then the strength of the combination is increased by one rank. For example, a triplet, or three of a kind, normally defeats a rank 4 card. However, a triplet of three honor cards would defeat a rank 5 card. If possible, you also have the option to play a six card combination, which defeats any two Bramble Evil cards that are currently in the layout. Six card combinations can include either three pairs, six cards in numerical order, two sets of three cards of the same number, or six cards of the same suit. In addition to playing combinations, you can take a few other actions on your turn. During any turn, you can sacrifice as many cards as you want by discarding them and then redrawing your hand back to six cards. Or, you may play one of the special cards in the deck. A Sacred Shears card, when played to the discard pile, defeats any single Bramble Evil of any rank that's currently in the layout. A Seer of Visions card has two possible actions. If discarded alone, draw the first six cards of the deck choose one of the cards to place in your hand, then shuffle the remaining cards back into the collection deck. You can also discard a Seer of Visions card along with up to three other cards from your hand. In that case, you're able to revive a certain amount of cards from the discard pile and shuffle them back into the collection deck. To take cards from the discard pile, you cut the discard pile in half, you put the top half on the bottom, then you draw the number of cards from the top of the deck based on how many cards you have discarded. See the instruction booklet or the included reference card for the number of cards you can revive from the discard in this manner. If a Flux Convergence card is drawn, it is immediately moved to the Flux area. Any card in your hand or drawn can be placed onto a Flux card in order to essentially increase the size of your hand. Only one card at a time may be placed on any Flux card. You can exchange cards from your hand to and from the flux cards freely, or you can play cards into combinations from the flux area and your hand freely. Essentially, for each flux card you have drawn, your maximum hand size increases by one. In addition to the Bramble Evils you're trying to defeat, the collection deck includes Bramble Curse cards, which are an additional challenge for the player. A Bramble Curse card takes up space in your hand until it is resolved. If another curse card is drawn when a curse is already in your hand, then the last Bramble Evil card that you defeated is returned to the top of the Bramble deck. Each subsequent Bramble curse card drawn while other curse cards are in your hand returns yet another defeated Bramble Evil to the Bramble deck. To resolve any curse cards in your hand, take one of the following actions. Discard a pair of cards, or two of the same number, along with any curse cards in your hand. Discard a Sacred Shears card along with any curse cards in your hand. Or discard any standard three card combination along with any of the curse cards in your hand. Each way to resolve cards resolves all of the curse cards in your hand, not just one. A Seer of Vision cards can resolve the curse cards in your hand. However, 
they don't go to the discard pile. Instead, if you discard a Sierra Visions card, then you can shuffle any Bramble Curse cards you have in your hand back into the collection. They are not put in the discard pile. A Bramble Curse card can be moved to a Flux card in order to resolve it. However, doing so closes that Flux card for the rest of the game and no other cards are allowed to be put onto that Flux card. If the collection runs out of cards, you are still able to play whatever combinations you have in your hand until you are no longer able to play any more combinations or special cards. If all 20 Bramble Evil cards are defeated by the time you've used up all of your combinations and special cards and you have no curse cards in your hand, though they can be in the flux area, then the Brambles are defeated and you win. However, if the collection runs out and you have no more combinations you're able to play in your hand and no more special cards available, yet there are still Bramble Evil hex cards remaining in the layout, then you lose. That is how you play the base game of the Brambles.